We are following breaking news as a SWAT standoff in Butler County nears its 22nd hour. The suspect has fired multiple rounds at deputies over the course of this standoff, and authorities say he's taken a 10-year-old boy hostage. Not on your side's Jake Ryle has been there all night along with law enforcement. Jake? Well, Julie, we know that not a whole lot has changed in those 22 hours. Still, that man is holed up with that 10 year old boy inside of the apartment. And at this point, 22 hours, Sheriff Richard Jones tells us it's one of the longest standoffs he's had in his entire career. Uh, they're working late into the night and probably early into this morning, and they're all hoping for a good outcome. A wake up call Tony Cole wasn't expecting. It was early in the morning, I was trying to sleep. And you know, the other, ten other tenants told me that a loud noise woke them up as well. So, uh, you know, it's definitely out of the norm. Cole lives in the Springs at Liberty apartment complex where a SWAT standoff began at around one Saturday morning. We've been, we've been very patient, but there's a 10 year old involved. Sheriff Richard Jones tells us this started due to a fight inside of the apartment. He says the man inside has fired at officers somewhere between 20 to 30 times. Nobody has been hurt. It's not good and uh, we're in a bad situation right now, so we're just going to try to wait it out and see if something changes. As the standoff saw daylight turn to night, its own challenges created. It gets colder. It's hard to walk. Uh, the people inside are tired. The child's tired. The police are tired. A shift change, but no change in strategy. When we get called out to stuff like this, usually we don't expect to be 24 hours. People are getting exhausted, so we're getting some relief inside from uh, other SWAT teams. We're getting warming stations put up, and we're going to be here uh, until we can get a good resolve from this. Now, at this point, at this point, we do know that the boy is OK. That's at the last update that we got about an hour or so ago. This is all unfolding actually about 100 or so yards behind us. We've elected not to actually show the scene to not give any indication of where those SWAT and law enforcement officers are at this time. We are going to be here, though, and we will be sure to keep you updated on WCPO.com when this situation does develop and hopefully have a good outcome. For now, reporting live in Liberty Township, Jake Ryle, 9 on your side.